my crafty friends and creators from around the globe. DJ here in the studio. Welcome or welcome back if you've been here before. Today we're going to continue to work on our February fairy journal, our you journal. And what I'd like to do today, I think, is uh, focus on the back. And what I'm going to try to do, and I say try, so bear with me. I'm going to work through this. I haven't made one of these before, but I'm going to try to do um, kind of like um, a piece that sits in here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to glue it down yet, but it's going to have flaps. And those flaps are going to kind of be held together by a little floating butterfly. And I'm going to try to do it with some elastic. So if you'd like to play along, I'm going to use some of this. It's, it's like lace, lacing, um, like a shoelace or whatever, but it's a cord, rounded, round cord elastic. So um, this came from Hobby Lobby. It was $2.29. I got it in white and black for uh, the inside of journals, but also I'm going to use it for this project. And so what I'm going to try to do is have this piece that's going to flap. And then I'm going to have a floating butterfly that's going to be held together with a bunch of um, grommets or whatever you call them. <laughs> um, so we'll see how it all goes. And then we can fill it with lots of fun stuff. And I'd also like to see if we have some time, which we'll see. Um, I'm going to do like a CD type envelope that has a circle cut out and it's going to have some vellum and it's going to be a little pocket. So we'll put that in there. And then I have some ephemera that we'll stuff in here as well. So um, we're not going to need the inserts. So I'm going to take that out. And... I have a piece of Tim Holtz paper here that I think I'd like to use and because it's heavier weight and I think I need a bit of a sturdy surface for this. So what I'm going to do is kind of cut it the width of this back, just the width of the piece of paper that we put in here. And then I'm going to make it a bit taller so that I have some flaps that fold up and down. So the first step of this that I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut this to the width of this page. So we'll just mark that. And I'll grab the, the um, paper pack that this is from in a sec so I can show you. You know, you use any paper, any paper. Uh, I would just go with something that's a little more heavy weight or use a cereal box or a pasta box if you're doing something like this and then uh, cover it with some paper just, if, you know, to give it some more sturdiness. All right, so that's that. And then I want to decide how I want my flaps. And so let's see. Yeah, I think that's enough on each side. All right, so I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to eyeball it down to where the bottom of that paper is that I had in there. Let me line this up. So that's one side. And I hope everybody's having a lovely day whatever day it is for you. We have some snow here today. Uh, there's a storm Keenan that's rumbling through and we're getting a little bit of it. I think New York City is getting slammed and Boston is definitely getting slammed. So uh, yeah, we got, we got lucky this time. We didn't get too much, thankfully. But we did get enough to cover up all that slushy snow you know it gets all dirty and the trees fall all over it and you know the cars make it dirty so now everything's clean again no i like that i didn't get much though okay so this is gonna go in here like this and then i'm going to here's the plan um i have a punch I put it away hang on It's this punch from EK 
oh gosh, I can't remember the full name now, EK Tools or something, I think it's called. Um, so I cut out some butterflies from a pack of paper. This is the paper I used, and it's called Tattered and Worn by the Paper Studio, and this one is adhesive. So um, what I'm going to do is I cut out two of the adhesive, and then I cut out two pieces of, um, this is like from, a, this is actually from a butter, you know, the, the sleeve that the butter comes in when you buy a pound of butter. So I cut them out of that and then I'm going to glue those together and then I'm going to adhere these on each side. And then this will be a really sturdy piece. And then I'm going to put some grommets in each of the corners and then float it here by connecting it with grommets to each of these ends and then we can slide stuff under it that's the plan so let's see how it goes <laughs> now i'm wondering gosh i'm wondering if this is going to be even sturdy enough i'm thinking i might want to put something another piece in here and then maybe we can make these corners a little prettier so let's see. Yeah, I don't want to put anything on the back. All right, let me just see. Just I hate to waste this whole Timmy holds paper. All right, let's see how it goes. Um, let's do the butterfly. And then we'll get out some grommets and do that. Because this is a little slick, I might want to just Reap it a little. Have a nail file. Yes. I'm just taking a, a nail file and getting off some of that shiny so that hopefully it'll just grip a little better with the glue. And I'm going to use the. Um, the Fabrifix or the acetate based glue here. Three in one, I think, is the same thing. And glue these sides together, like so, on the antenna. And because I cut them with the same punch, everything should line up fine like so. And again, the only purpose of using so many layers is to give it some sturdiness. You know, I really want it to be strong when it's hanging there because it'll get some wear. All right, so that's that. And then these are adhesive, so they should just stick right on, though. This may have to dry a bit more. It grips really, really fast when you don't want it to. <laughs> and then when you want it to, it like, takes forever. All right, now. Just line this up like so. And then by the time I put the other one on there, this is going to be like a light, light chipboard um, thickness, which is really good. And actually, I think I just missed on the, <laughs> it's a little bit off. It's okay. Let's see what it looks like. All right, we'll put that side down. Nobody will see it. So actually, that didn't even matter that I put something on this side, did it? Nope. See what I mean? I, when I put it through the punch, I was too close to the edge. That's all right. That side will go down. So now this is fairly thick. It's got um, a good weight to it. And so I think what I'm going to do here, because this won't be going up and down, is I think I am going to take a piece of chipboard and just put it in there to give it some stability. Okay. So this was, I think, the back of a pad of some type or an insert in a frame. I don't remember. 
And I'm just going to put this on the other side of that so that when those grommets are in there and everything's kind of pulling on each other, we don't have any issues. So let's see, how big does it have to be? We'll go to about there. And that'll be, let's see, I'll put it here and then I'll line this up straight. All right. See if I can get both. I think I can. So how long is this? Let's put this away. 11 so we can cut this at five and a half. I'll put this away now. Five and a half. Okay, and then these can get glued into here. And that will make that a lot more stable. And nobody will really see it. Because those flaps will be down and they'll be elastic and they're not really meant to be to remove the elastic. So we'll see how much shows if I want to put any decorative element on top of it, but I don't think it's necessary. This is one. Like so. Okay, so I only glued that one side. And we'll do this one. By the way, on the other side of this mat, I found out that you do not want to get any kind of acetate or nail polish remover or anything of that nature on these mats because apparently whatever they draw these lines with does not stand up to it. So what happened was, and you may have seen this in that one video I did, I got this glue on the mat. So off camera, I decided to come down and clean it off with acetone nail, nail polish remover with uh, acetone in it. Yeah, that didn't work out. It smeared, the, it smeared and it changed color. So the pink became like a purple from whatever these lines are. And it was a disaster, but that's okay. I've had this mat for a while so i'd like to get one of those black ones but i'm not in the market for it right now this one works fine i don't care if it has a little smear on it as long as i can measure on it it's uh it's a workable piece for me all right so what else we might want to add some more decorative elements i'm going to put a bunch of ephemera in here so i'm not really caring so much about that um, maybe up here we could do, and that'll actually maybe help reinforce it. We can do maybe some, uh, just some lace here. Um, let's see. What do I have? It's too big. 
you know, I'm always going back to the same lace. I'm always going back to the white. This one's heavy duty. I just wonder how hard it will be to get that grommet through there. Eyelets, whatever you want to call them, eyelets. They're kind of long. I haven't used this this style before, but I've been dying to use them. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. I'm just trying to see if they're long enough to get through all of what I've just put down there. I think I'm gonna go with these. So one, two, three, four. Maybe I'll use smaller ones on the butterfly. Yeah, probably, but these will be good for up here. So I'll use those four there. And these are for from We Are Memory Keepers. For the crocodile, they're 3 16 inch or 0.5 centimeter wide eyelets. I got them on uh, Amazon. So the question is, will we get through the lace and the chipboard with this eyelet? I think we might, but let's see how well our crocodile, and actually, will this work? This actually might be the same size. Nope, it's got to be a little bigger. All right. So let's see if the crocodile is going to pierce through this. So this is the 3 16 inch side. Let's do a little test. Take a piece of lace. I'll take a piece of that chipboard. Of course, I don't have a single piece of it left over. Let's see. Just take a little bit here. I just want to make sure it's going to get through it without shredding the lace before I glue it on. Oh, that'll work. And there's plenty of room for me to then close it. So, lace it is. Okay, so there's that. Put you over there. And well, what happened to you? All right, you're going elsewhere. This piece will go here. Cut it about there. And then I'll do this piece up here. So I'll have a little lacy element as well. Yeah, so I always end up going back to this cream. <laughs> I have so many different colors. I really have got to uh, become a little bit more confident in using other colors. So let's glue this down. And then we will add our eyelets. Eyelets. And and then we'll string it up and see how it looks. 
add some eyelets to our butterfly. Now I'm just gonna say eyelets all day. like so. Push that out a little and cut off any excess. Is that straight? Looks straight. Perfect. On the side. On the side. Yes, do you guys get snow in your area? Where are you from? I have been in the Northeast most of my life. I spent a little time in Florida for a while. Um, and that was nice until a hurricane came in. And I'm like, you know, do I want to build a house? And then one day just have it all gone <laughs> in a single evening. Um, no. So after that hurricane, we moved back upstate and, well, up to New York anyway. And yeah, here I am. So I've been here most of my life. Snow has been a regular occurrence for me, but I don't know. What is it like by you? Is snow a rarity? Is snow like Montana snow, Canada snow? You guys got snow. Boston, I think, is getting hit pretty bad. All right, so that's that, right? Now, we have to figure out where we're gonna put these, and I'm gonna let this dry a little, so maybe while we let this dry, I will do the butterfly. I want to grunge this up a little. So yeah, using the butter um, container, I try to recycle as much as I can. And um, when we do that little CD thing, I'm gonna show you another component of recycling. We get all this plastic and cardboard and, and stuff in our lives. And I know we can save everything. Look, I mean, who has the room? Honestly, I have a whole corner of my basement that is filled with just Amazon envelopes and paper bags and boxes and from macaroni and all this stuff, but I can't save everything. We burn a lot of stuff. We're allowed to have burning barrels so we can burn a lot of stuff. But um, yeah, I mean, there's only so much. You recycle what you can and that's it. I wish I could be zero waste, but unfortunately I can't. Well, I guess I could. I'm, I'm, it's not that I can't. It's just that I choose not to. Um, all right, where did that go? Here. Right, so I think I have some in here that will match this color. Or close enough, right? They're going to be a little separated, so. Now I just have to decide where I want to put these and make sure that they're even because that will drive me nuts. All right, so what's the best way to do this? I think what I'll do is I'll put it on here and then I'll line up the center and then I can use these dotted lines to kind of figure out where I want to put these. So we'll put one there. And then we'll put one about there. They look fairly even. And then here, hmm, of course there's no real way to align this one, right? Of course not. Um, maybe I'll just do in the center here. Yeah, they're fairly even. It's a little hard to see what my pencil marks, but that'll give me a range of where 
where, where, where I want to put these. Get some of that out of there. Let's see. Are you? Yes. All right. Wish me luck. A little hard for you to see. It's a little hard for me to see. Okay, I had to do that off camera because I just could not see those with this light. But so there's where we're going to put these grommets, like so. Eyelets. I don't know. What's the difference? <laughs> now that's going to go like that. Okay, we got a little industrial vibe going. Um, all right. Flip this around. Come on. And all right. Let's see how we do. There's one. Okay, that was the end, of course. That's two. And nobody will see the other side, so if you over punch these a little, it's fine, which I always tend to do. Except in this case, so good, yay, me! Okay. So there, we have that little guy now who's gonna float in the middle. And now, are we dry enough here? I think we are. Let's figure out where we're gonna put these. So. I think I'll go an inch and a half in. And this I need a marker for. Sharpie, big sharpie. There we go. And I'll center it so I'll go right there. So there's that. Inch and a half here. Be about there. And I am going to have to back this. I am just feeling it now. It is flimsy, so we're going to have to do something there. And I'll tell you why. Let me just make these marks. If you haven't figured it out. All right, so it's going to be about there. Once I put the elastic in, it's going to do this. It's just gonna do that. So I'm either gonna have to make a decision to attach this, which I really don't wanna do, or back it. <sighs> okay. I don't know why I'm hemming and hawing about attaching it. I think it's because I had this paper in here and I just didn't wanna cover it up, but you know what? It might just be safer to attach it. So let's make sure our holes punch well first. <laughs> we get that all together before I actually, actually attach it. Okay, so here we go. These are black, so I should be able to see them a bit better. Okay, I don't know, of course. got stuck in there. Let's see. Can we do this? Yes, we can. All right, now we got to get you out of there. Okay. All right. Good. All right, we're working. We're working. Why are you not opening now? That's why. All right, so <laughs> one hole down. 
I wonder if you guys are like laughing at me or shaking your head, turning me off. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Okay. All right, you're coming off. Nope, of course not. Just gotta cut that a bit. So it's going through the lace, but it's not going through well. So you're out, good. Other side. Last one. Right. All right, so that's done. Let's see. So these are going to go in there. Oh, I, I love this. this. This is so nice. I like the way this is working. It's always good when a plan comes together. Now I wonder if I... Hmm. Yeah, let's see how we go. Grab nice. That is really nice. I am so happy with that. You know, you never know when it's going to work out perfectly. Shh. Don't say it too loud. The sheen elves might hear you. Okay, this one. Good. Last one. Are you seeing the vision? Now, <laughs> white or black? I think I'm going to go with black. I think white is going to stand out too much and the black will lend itself to the black letters and this is not going that way it's going this way all right now we're gonna have to glue it in let me just zhuzh up the sides a little done. Let me grab that pad. I told you I'd show you. Okay, so it's a uh, dapper and it's from Tim Holtz and it has uh, kind of like a masculine vibe going uh with a lot of different pages in it um there's some receipts and stuff like this is all men's sports um a lot of tweed and cigar wrappers things like that so it's a good pack i love it I love all of the Tim Holtz paper, but I hoard it and I never want to use it because, because, because it's just so pretty. But that's why we buy it. We buy it to use it, not to sit in a drawer. If you don't have Tim Holtz, just there's so much stuff out there. You can paint, you can do all sorts of things. All right, so I said I wanted to glue this down now. What do I want to use? I think, hmm. All right, I'm gonna use the tacky glue. 
that'll be fine. And we can just do it on here. Bye, nice green paper. Oh, well. I didn't know where I was going. If I'd have known, I could have saved you. But I can't. Now here we are. It's fine. It's all good. I just want to make sure this is stuck down really well and going right side up. Even on all sides. Oh, I found this. It was lost. I thought someone took it for its real use. They didn't. It was under a pile in my craft room. Go figure. Thing is flexible. I mean, seriously. I'm sure the craft industry will take it on soon enough. All right, so that's going to go there. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our elastic, and this is a lightweight elastic, and it's fine for this. This will suit this fine. Just trying to um, not tangle it. Um. All right, so let's do it this way. Actually, I could hide that under there. So we'll go up through here, like so, okay? And then we're going to go through the top of our butterfly. And if I don't like the way it looks this way, we'll go the other way. Let's see, like that. And then we'll come back up through here. Back up. Like so. And then this can tie under here. So I think that'll work fine. So that should be enough there. And we can put you back in the package. I'm done with you. Just want to make sure that glue is really dry before I pull on this. Not that it's going to be, you know, we're not yanking on it or nothing, but I do have to tie this pretty tight. And then so that will just hold all of that closed. And then we'll be able to put stuff under it. It's not really meant to be opened. So yeah, see, this has got to, this has got to dry really well. I'm going to put a little more glue and then I'm going to clamp it down. And while we let this dry, we'll make our little CD envelope. How's that sound? So when I'm filming this, it is January 29th. Okay, and it has not escaped me that we are not close to done with this <laughs> journal and we need to move on to February's. But it's okay, and I have some other videos planned in between. So it's all good. It will all, all be good. I will figure it out. So the January journal might extend a little because I got a late start, but the rest of them should be fine. Um, okay, so I'm just going to let that dry and we'll work on our little CD thing that I want to do. Okay, 
well, I have this piece, so we can we can try one with this. Let's see how this is gonna go. All right, so this piece is the leftover piece from that. So it's six and a quarter this way and 12. So six and a quarter by 12, but you could make these any size once you see the process here. It's super simple. Um, I'm gonna have to, I want it to seal. I want one side to seal. I want one side to seal closed. So just thinking this through. This is gonna fold down. And actually, it doesn't matter. It's not like I'm gonna open it. I want to score a little on each side here because I want it to fold in and uh, seal closed. Oh, sorry for the noise. I gotta get out my scoreboard, which is hanging up. So how much do I want to score it? Uh, maybe a half an inch. Let's see. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. I'm going to do a half an inch on each side. Should leave me enough room. I don't think it's too much. And then since we lost most of this design on that other flap that I just made, we'll have more of it here to kind of pull through. All right, and these can cut off. I don't need these. I don't need the scoreboard anymore, I don't think. So this is my top flap, or what will be the top flap, I think, um, even if I'm going to have a top flap. This is a half inch, I think that's a half inch, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it looks small. Uh, a half inch on either side, and I'm going to cut from here, this little uh, side off, and then here and down, okay? Because we're not going to need that. And then on this piece, I'm just going to cut it in on an angle because that's going to be a glue flap. All right, so let's go like that. And then we'll cut up that score line. And the same on the other side. So now we have what looks like that. And now, let's see, the top. Okay, let me see what I want to do here. I don't even know that I need this top piece. Except for aesthetics. So let's fold that down. We'll fold it down. Like so, that's all. I, I left a little tiny gap there. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna cut this off. I'm just gonna make that a little tighter so I know where that line is. Okay, so again, I'm going to do the same thing I did here. I'm just going to cut up on an angle and then cut that piece off. So the angle is going to where that crease is here. I'm just going to cut up to there. Nobody's going to see this, so your angle uh, doesn't matter. 
as far as whether they match on both sides. And then right up there, okay, so we took that off. And do the same thing here. And like so. All right, those scraps can go in the scrap bin. So this is what we have now. These will fold in, this will fold up, and this can fold down. And now what I want to do is um, I want to punch a hole here, all right? So I'm going to get, now you can do this a couple of different ways. You can make, I'm going to make it a circle-ish. I'm going to show you. I have some dies here. This is um, just uh, a regular circle die. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what set this is from because I didn't save the insert. But it came with a bunch uh, that were kind of in, inside of each other. And I'm going with its Sizzix because my Hobby Lobby carries a lot of Sizzix dies. So that's probably what this is, but don't hold me to it. Anyway, I'm going to put this in the center. And then this will be where I'm going to put some... And I'm actually going to go through two. And then I'll put some acetate or... Um, I'm actually going to use a recycled item through here so that we can see through this when we put something in it. Now, this is the largest one I have of a circle. If you don't have a die, you can cut a square. Um, you know, you can freehand it. You can use a jar lid and, and draw it and cut around it. If you have a different kind of die that's more like, you know, a flourishy frame or something, you can use that whatever you have on hand. Um, and then I want to round these corners. Not those, these. Before I cut it. No reason why before. It doesn't matter when I do it. All right, but I do want to cut this out with this. So let me get my big shot. And life-changing item. I bought this magic mat. I'm usually not one for gimmicks. This came from scrapbook.com. I have a Sizzix big shot. This thing is amazing. <laughs> you can go to scrapbook.com slash mat. There's all the details about it. I think it was like $7. I think I may have got it on their sale when they announced it. This thing works so good. You know how when you, if you have a big shot, you're, you're going along, it's so jarring at times, takes it completely out of the equation. I get a clean cut all the time, no more fuzzy cuts with it. It's awesome. Hoping I'm somewhat in frame. This is not a big table and this is a really big, big shot. All right, so I'm just going to take my envelope let me see if I can figure out where center is here. Approximate. Actually, I'll go down like that. Might have to cut that tab. Actually, let's go down lower. Then I won't have to. Right there. Oh, sorry for the camera. I don't want it down too tight. All right, it's gonna mush it down on there. All right, maybe we won't do the tape this time. All right, so I'm folding up. So I'm gonna cut two sides at once. Now that I know where I'm cutting. I am kind of klutzy, so. Move this in again. Just that it's bulky. Come on. Yeah, okay. And then we'll send this through and I'll go in once and then come back. It literally takes away all that jarring that you get from 
uh, cutting with the Big Shot, which when I was first using my Big Shot, it scared me. I'm like, did I break the thing? These things are pretty sturdy though. All right, let's hope it went through everything. Look at that, so clean, no jarring, and I'll use these on something else. This is, um, it's got like these holes in it. I don't know if you can see it. So I can use them on another piece. All right, so this, we're done with this. For now, let's put this away. I'll put my dies away. Okay, so we have our little envelope. And now we'll just, uh, we're gonna glue in uh, you can use a couple of things. You can use vellum, you can use wax paper, you can use uh, all sorts of items. I have, all right, I got some shirts in from Amazon and they came in these bags and I thought it would be cool to use these and then we could just repurpose them and it will give us a little window. What do you think? I think it'll work fine. I think it'll work. I think it'll work. So I'm gonna cut these down. I'll just cut this piece off the top. I might wanna use that for something, that zipper part, you know? It might be a good closure for a for a journal or something else. Okay, it's like this little plastic zippy thing. I'll save that. And now I wanna cut out some pieces that will fit this size. go about there and I'm going on the side without the writing obviously don't want to see that through there I'm hoping this will hold up um, with my Fabrifix glue let's see why it wouldn't so I want it to be slightly bigger than the circle Because I want to glue it around the outside. Now this is going to be sealed closed, so nobody's going to see that. Let's see. All right, so I got one piece there. Let's see, well, is that enough for both? I hope so. Yeah. All right. Let me cut this in half. And it's a little cloudy, but I don't. I, don't, I think that looks cool. I think it um, kind of lends itself to the aesthetic. All right, before I glue that, I'm gonna go ahead and just ink this up. And I think I'm gonna cut this flap just a bit shorter so it doesn't hang over that window as well. Let me do that first. Just a little long, and it's actually just for looks anyways and to keep it closed so I'm not even that mad about it. Where do I want to go? Maybe there. Is that enough? We're about to find out. Nope. Hair more. engineer I am not <laughs> all right so that should work now good enough let's re-round those corners all right I will ink it up speed you through this part so you don't have to sit through it all right so <laughs> I inked this up and I shortened this just a little more. I wasn't happy with it still. And um, I think I wanna sew around it, but you don't have to sew yours. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stitch that up. I'll be right back. 
already soon. So I did a little zigzag stitch up here on the flap. And then I just did some basic straight stitch and a little zigzag accent here and there, just to add a little extra. I'm just gonna cut all these strings quick and then we'll put in our recycled plastic in the center and we'll have ourselves a really cool little pocket for inside of the newly made little flat we did for the back. Just glue these in like so. And I hope this will work. Let me just see something. Uh, da, 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 when you're, do not use varnished furniture. Da, 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 petroleum jelly. Da, da. Do you know work surface apply? I don't know. It doesn't say it won't work on plastic. We're about to find out. Anyway. If you're worried about it, use something you know will work on plastic. I'm just going to go around the outside of this circle. Like so. And then I'll probably end off up cutting off any excess. All right, so that's one. And then we'll decorate the front a little. Because why not? Okay, and then when we glue that closed, we have a cool little see-through space that we can Put stuff in there and you can see it from the other side, which I think is really cool. Just want to make sure this is glued down well. I don't know, I guess you could use hot glue. It might melt the plastic a little. And there might be some other nifty way that you could glue down plastic. If anybody knows what that is, feel free to share it. All right, I'm gonna let that dry for a sec. All right, let's put this to the side to dry. This is dry now, feels real secure. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this all up and tie it and maneuver it. So I wanna make it I don't want it to be like super duper tight, but I do want it to be tight so that the butterfly kind of suspends. I don't want any slack in there. So just an overhand knot, tie a double knot. It's not gonna be seen. Oh, no pun intended. It's not gonna be seen. <laughs> ah, I amuse myself. Okay. It seems good. I might put a dollop of glue on there just to make sure. If I had my E600, I'd use that, but I don't. So we're using this. This is just PVA glue. It's probably not going to hold it the best. Some crazy glue or Gorilla Glue might be better, but this is what I got here. And it's good. Cut that excess off. And then we'll just get that knot hidden. Under there. Okay, so you won't really see it. And isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it, I love it. All right, are you dry enough? I think so. All right, so I'm going to cut the excess off of around this circle. There's no reason to have that extra plastic there. And then just at the top where we might put stuff in, I might glue that down a little more just to make sure stuff doesn't get super caught on it. Though I think I'm close to that glue line. Ah. All right. 
Oh, now we have to let this dry again. Oh, it's almost dry. All right, I think we're safe. We can glue this down now so that our envelope remains closed. And I'm just gonna use regular PVA glue since we're just gluing paper to paper at this point. I know I have more art glitter glue somewhere. I just can't seem to locate it at the moment. So I'm using my PVA glue right now exclusively in one of these little needle tipped bottles which I got on Amazon. Boy, I am just not gluing well today. You now you have a problem if you're failing glue. Okay, cap this up and then we'll hold that down. And then we'll just give a little decoration on the front and then we'll just throw some ephemera in here. But I think in our next video, we'll go ahead and make a little notepad and some other fun items for in here. But see, this is what I mean now. This pulled, we covered up a lot of that, so this pulled it back in, which I love. And we can just keep that closed with a little paper clip. We don't really have to add anything. And then um, that can go in there. I'm just gonna grab some labels. Okay, I have this. I guess it's a nine. Could be a six, but then the words would all be upside down. This is from an Etsy kit. Um, crud. I don't have it in front of me. If I think about it, I'll try to put it in the description. But it was just like a bunch of number labels. I'm sure that if you just search Etsy for number labels, there's so many. This may not be your style anyway, so you can just find something that you really love. And then these are a freebie, I believe, from Artie Mays. And I thought we could use a word, so I thought that would be cool there. What else? Do I have any other butterflies? Yes. No. Nope. Alright, well, let's see. Uh, documented. I like that. Now, I distress these a little. Actually, I wonder if the white would be better. Nope, I like the black. Um, so I took her sheet and I just uh, did some distressing of my own in Photoshop to make these look a little more distressed because they were like clean black and white. And that's just not my style. So, we got this documented so we can go there now we could put it here like that some of this Something like that. I think so. I like it. Oh, that's my test piece. Good. Well, I can just go right over that and make use of it. And this will just give it a little extra something. Like that. I have a cluster that, some clusters I started. I'm gonna grab them. 
I don't know if any of these will go. This one's got some. Eh, guess not. Nope. I think that's fine. All right, now we can put something inside that's fairy related. Oh, I have some die cuts here too. These might work. These might work. Let's see. I have a butterfly. What do you guys think of that? I have a black one. What are the odds? What are the odds? Oh, I have this. Oh, I do have a black butterfly. And I also have this. The black butterfly, though, might tie this in. Let's see. Is this the one for this? Yes, it is. I'm gonna go with it. I like it. Just stress it a little. All right, now I'll glue you on. This is uh, another, I think it's another Sizzix die cut. It's butterflies and it's like four dies and one does the, this part and then another does the back and there's two different butterfly styles. So that can go there, I like that. Make sure the side's down good. The other one can be a little freer, like that. Okay, so that's that. That's our envelope. Let's put something in it. What do we want to put in it? Something to make pretty stuff. No more butterflies. Your way. Um, I have, this is a U limb. It's a, um, it's a, uh, book plate replicated. I guess it's a vintage book plate that I've put onto a piece of paper <laughs> and made it a lot smaller. So we could do that and then maybe put, um, Put a little something on the back to make it a little more firm, but it's got the U berries and the greenery. And so I want to add this this will firm it up a little and it has some lines on it for writing space so that'll be good so here's what I'm gonna do I'm not just gonna glue it down I'm gonna do it like in a very distressed way hopefully this will work and I'm looking now is that even gonna fit in there yeah I think it will okay so I'm gonna take this and I'm going to randomly put it on this piece and let it dry. And then I'm going to rip it off. And that will give me from where the edges didn't, uh, 
you know, where there's no glue in some spots, it'll tear. And then I'll have kind of like a rough edge, which I really like the way that looks. So we'll give that a minute to dry. This, um, what else can we put in here? We've got this, we've got some of these. This is a little, this one we don't have to back. Uh, maybe I'll give it some punched corners. And I have this floating on my desk, so we could just staple that on, right? That'll be nice. We'll just carry that over. A little journaling space on the back of that where you can put your favorite quote or an important date. Just a little space. All right, so I'm going to staple that. staples. No, nope, I don't want yellow. Got some green. Like those better. Why are you giving me trouble, guys? Ah, there we go. I'll just staple this to this, a little green. Like so. Big cute little birdie. You can go in there. We've got this, true love the whole year round, why not? This has that word, that phrase about the you. Uh, where is it? Was no, no, no. widespread use? Oh, that didn't work, did it? There we go. I don't know what is up with this punch today. It's not working for me. All right, so we've got that. We can throw that in there. Hmm. All right, let's get creative. What do I need? Let me just grab this. Nail file. Take off some of that. I don't want to cut it, so I just want to get rid of that straight line. Just do that. Taking off some of that ink. That's what I'm doing, just to try to make it less obvious. Give it a more distressed kind of feel there. All right, and then we'll just go over it with some ink. There's always a way to fix the problem. Okay, so there is that. We will put you in there. You know, this, this little pocket can be in there and like holding all this fun ephemera and you can add some pictures if you want in there. Like so. That can go in there. I want to put a notebook in there. Let's see if this is dry yet. All right, we're getting to that stage where everything's a mess. we're having the opposite effect. All right, that's gonna have to dry a lot. So we're gonna leave that. But what happens is you kind of rip it up. Well, let's see what's gonna happen. Let's see, let's see. Is any of it gonna stick? No, none of it's gonna stick. <laughs> well, that's not working out for me, is it? All right, so now we're just gonna glue it all down. Don't mind me.
Maybe it works better with book page. This is copy paper weight, so maybe it's not going to be such a good uh, a good option. But if you do it with book page, what it does, and I might have shown this to you in a video, is it kind of tears up some of the edges and leaves some of the book page down, and then it looks really distressed and funky. But well, that didn't happen, so we're just we're moving on. Glue the rest of this down now. Thanks for cooperating. That's all right. It's all good. It's all good. And we'll put you in there. Hi, you. <laughs> That's funny. All these puns. I'm so punny. It's a punny Saturday. Oh, that's that. But you know what? It, it worked out. It worked out fine. And I'm looking, I see this little fun thing on my desk. This little fairy, I'm gonna put her on the back. This is a stamp that came from Your Creative Studios monthly box. I think it was October. Don't quote me. And it was all fairy themed, which was just oh, so wonderful. I was so happy when I saw it. I'm like, oh no, no way. I'm going to do fairy journals next year. That's going to be awesome. We're going to put you right there. We are. Like so. Yeah, so we got that. And you're going in our little, in our little envelope. Maybe we'll put you this way. You, again, oh, so funny. All right, so cool, so see? And then we'll get, we could get a little paper clip and clip that. Oh my gosh. Now I have some little, oh, right here, dirt. Little Timmy Holtz paper clips. They're so teeny tiny. And we can just clip this closed, like so. And I saw a stamp here. Where are you? Oh, I have this. I can do that. We'll just tuck him under. These added touches just make your journals a little more fun and interactive, at least in my opinion. So, you know, embellish away, more is more. Why not? Tuck him under there, like so. And then we'll put you in there, like that. And there we go. All right, so that's today's video. Um, I want to say a special thank you to all of you who have stopped by and spent time with me today and for everybody's lovely comments who, um, who take the time to write me a little note. I really appreciate it. It's encouraging. It helps me know that you like the videos and that you're having fun crafting with me. So thank you. And I will see you guys in the next video where we will go ahead and add in some I think I want to do another notebook and some other stuff to tuck in here. Um, we have to do the card for this and then we'll decorate a couple of more pages with some pockets and some simple tags and things like that. We'll sew in our journal uh, signatures and then we got to do the cover. And that will wrap up our January You Fairy journal. And then we'll move on to February. But I'll have some videos in the meantime for you all. And I hope you have a pleasant day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend or week, wherever you are in it. And I'll see you here in the studio next time. Bye. All right. I fixed it. <laughs> For everybody that caught it, I didn't. I didn't catch it. But I didn't want to let the video go without showing you that.
it was going the other way and I noticed it after I turned the camera off. So I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to fix that and show everybody. So now I will say bye.